Good day everyone. So today we'll have our class orientation on the uh, for the subject FS2 or the participation and teaching assistantship. So I am your teacher. I'm Ms. Shira Escamsa, your instructor for this subject. So FS2, participation and teaching assistantship. Um, we have here our regular schedule, which is on uh, Monday and Tuesday, 9 to 12. And our online class schedule will be um, Monday, 9 to 10.30 a.m. Don't you worry, uh, online class schedule will be um, conducted or will be done once every two weeks only. Okay, so um, what is the course overview for this subject we have here? This course is a continuation of your field study one. It is a school base and allows a pre-service student to participate and assist in a limited actual teaching learning activities that relate to assessment of learning, preparation of instructional materials, preparation of the bulletin boards and other routines in the classroom. A portfolio which will contain sample or learning plans and demonstration teaching of at least one subject content area will also be required. And an action research shall be encouraged to start in this course and conclude during the internship. Okay, so we'll ha you will have your portfolio and you'll have also an action research. So the course outline for the subject we have here, week one or the orientation since tapos na week one and week two orientation and then uh, week two we have here the um, start of your deployment, uh, familiarization of routine and the um, action research webinar orientation which will commence tomorrow um, afternoon. And for week three, is dapat karong si manahuna, you have already completed um, your activities for lesson one of module one. And we have here unsa tong mga activity nga na dito na word problem and the crafting of the table of uh, specifications. For week four, kinakailangan ay kompleto na ang um, in your lesson to module one and then you have also already um searched for a topic for your action research problem for week five um you have already completed your activities for lesson three of module one and then the action research title was already approved na sa inyong mga advisor and you are going to start working on your chapter one Okay, next is uh, week 6. For week 6, kinakailangan kompleto na ang um, lesson 1, module 2. And uh, you will start, since you are go, uh, you have started working on your chapter 1, you are going to continue that one on week 6. Okay, so for week 7, um... Completion of activities for lesson 2 of module 2. And then continuation on the chapter 1 of your AR. And then for week 8, completion of activities for lesson 2 of module 2. And then still working on the chapter 1 of your AR. So while working on your AR, kinakailangan, mer um, we know work out nyo rin ang inyong module for your field study. Okay, so dalawa ang i-work out nyo for this subject. So for week 9, kinakalangan tapos na ang lesson 3, module 2. And then, you will start working on your chapter 2 of your AR. And then for week 10, is um, dapat tapos na rin ang lesson 1, module 3. And um, continue uh, working on your chapter 2 AR. And then, um, week 11, completion of activities for lesson 2 of module 3. And so, week 11 din tayo magkakaroon ng outline, defense, or proposal defense sa inyong AR. 
for week 12, um, kinakailangan kompleto na ang mga activities for lesson 3 of module 3. And then, um, um, you are going to uh, revise now your manuscript base doon sa outline defense na um, ginanap last week 11. And then, iparasas na din natin sa week 12 itong uh, rec approval. So, for week 13, ayan, completion of activities for lesson 1 of module 4 and then ongoing pa rin ang processing natin sa rec approval. For week 14, if approved na tayo sa rec, move on na tayo sa data gathering natin. And then, you must complete na all the activities for lesson 2 of module 4. Okay, next is that uh, com week 15 completion of activities for lesson 2 of module 4 pa rin and uh, still on data gathering procedure na kayo. Week 16, you must um, complete na all the activities for lesson 3 of module 4 and you have, um, dapat dito na week, nagsistart na kayo working on your chapter, chapter 3. Week 17, all the documents kinakailangan makolek na ninyo sa inyong um, cooperating teacher and then ipa-finalize na ninyo ang inyong chapter 3 and action plan. So, dito sa, chap uh, sa week 17, magaganap na rin yung um, final defense ninyo. No, kasi naka-finalize na si chapter 3. Okay, so dapat okay na si chapter 3 dyan. Then sa week 18, last week na of um, first semester, kinakailangan kompleto na ang mga requirements, documents from operating teacher. You have already submitted all the modules and we will have our exit conference with the operating teachers. Next. The high grading system. Um, si field study ay may sariling grading system. So, mag-anchor gihapon ta dito sa ihatag ni field study nga grading system. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang grading system ni uh, field study. Okay. So, grading system ni field study makikita dito sa inyong module. Okay. Yan, mapin natin. Okay, so this will be your uh, module na kinakailangan ninyong i-accomplish for field study 2. Yan. Activities and we have here the uh, different ano, um, rubrics na gagamitin natin para mag-grade sa inyo. Ito, rin, ito din yung ano, uh, ito rin yung gagamitin na basis ng ating mga cooperating teachers. Okay. So, attendance sa inyong cooperating teacher, ayan, 10% ang kukunin natin. Reflective journal, yung ginagawa yung journal ay 20% and ang magre-rate niyan is si practicum supervisor. Si practicum supervisor ay ang inyong mga instructor. So, your instructor for FS1, I think it's Sir um, Cantomayor. I don't know. And for FS2, ako. So, ako ang mag-check sa inyong reflective journal. So, for professional portfolio, um, katong inyo hang i-accomplish na portfolio, na po may portfolio, that is... Um, 30% and ako ang mag-rate na sa inyo, your instructor. And then, self-made test, 20% ang mag-rate na sa inyo, your operating teacher. And then, for lesson plans na inyong buhaton, it will weigh 20% and the rater will be your operating teacher. Okay, so total, that is 100%. So, ayan. So, ito yung mga assessment tools. We have here the lesson plan rubric. Naka-attach dito. Student portfolio rubric. Rubric for self-made test. And the marking guide for the reflective journal entries. Okay. So, ayan. Naadiri atanan ang inyuhang 
module. So, ihatag na mo ni sa inyo, ha? And by week na amoy kinahanglan nga ma-accomplish. Okay, so naka-timeline naman ni siya. Tagaan na lang muna mo og time um, deadline kung kanos ana siya na mo. Kinahanglan nga madawat. Para anam-anam na to siya ma-check, anam-anam po din niyo siya ma-submit. Okay. Next. Next will be your Yan. So, manata dito sa inyong ano. We have here your portfolio. Ayan. It, money na sa inyong portfolio. Uniform ta na ng inyong portfolio. Okay. Ihatag ni siya sa inyo ha. Okay. Kaning portfolio is yan. Naamoy acknowledgement. So, um, si student teacher magbuha acknowledgement dira a uh, own word ha, dili lang i-copy-paste ikap, ninyo, kinahanglan, kuan siya, ganyan, sa tawag ano ay, personalized, no, kinsa inyong ipasalamatan, o oh, diranan niyo siya ibutang sa inyo, acknowledgement. And then, preface, table of content, wala may gutang nga table of content because you are going to make your own table of content. So, di may magbuot kung sa inyo ibutang diha. Okay, ayan. So, natay na dali ang rationale. Um, why do we need to um, study or nga nung kinahanglan nga mag-enroll mo field study and teaching internship despite the uh, situation karon nga pandemic. So, di pangitaan siyang paagi para maka-experience mo o field study and teaching internship. Okay, na dali asya. So, your role, duties, and responsibilities na apod diri a as a pre-service teachers. Okay, si PST are invited guests in the cooperating schools and should therefore note the following expectations. So, mao ni siya ang inyuhang mga responsibility. Inyuhan ni siyang um, i-familiarize Okay, pero naayong bandiri ang adili na po siya applicable sa inyo. Ha? So, during the new normal practicum period, PSTs are expected to coordinate with their CT. Si CT, siya ang inyuhang cooperating teacher for their lag time. So, maglag mo dito sa inyuhang cooperating teacher. Pangutan na, unsa na siya na di man mo magkita. So, you have to communicate with your city uh, using kining uh, Facebook Messenger or kung unsa nga way nga makommunicate ninyo sila. Okay? Before flag ceremony. Since wala pa may flag ceremony, so mag-attend lang sa taog um, convocation every um, Monday. Okay, so attendance should be reflected in the certificate of attendance or any forms Google Classroom certified by their CT. So, kung naamoy accomplishment, ano siya ha? Kung naamoy accomplishment sa isa kaadlaw, ihatag ninyo, magbuhat mag accomplishment report, and then, si, ihatag ninyo na siya kay cooperating teacher. Si cooperating teacher karon mag-issue sa inyo haog, Certificate of Attendance. Si Certificate of Attendance, muna siyang i-attach ninyo sa inyuhang portfolio nga nagpumatuod nga naa kay na-accomplish anang adlawa dito kay cooperating teacher. Nagtabang baka og um, um, buhat og module, compute og grado, ang sapag ipabuhat ni cooperating teacher sa imuha. So, imuha ng ibutang dito ah. Okay, number two. PSTs must ensure that they are available for school-related after-hours activities and commitments. So, dapat, ang pangitaon mo sa inyong mga city, kinahanglan, available mo per me. Basta, it is school-related um, activities. Okay, number three, during the practicum period, Absence is only allowable by uh, for valid reasons, examples, illness, or um, compassionate reasons. So, PSTs who are absent must notify the classroom, I know, cooperating teacher by 8 in the morning of absence and must also notify, notify their TH 
EI or your um kaning practicum supervisor kami Okay, kung dili ka makamam na hospital mang gugo maotong wala ko naka duty ana no so impossible na pud nga mufalo kita ning 8 no impossible na pud nga naraman ta sa atong mga balay anytime man ato ma-approach si city kung unsa yahang ipabuhat sa ato so okay ra na siya nga dita mag-follow og time nga 8 in the morning okay so appropriate professional behavior requires PSTs to display a cooperative attitude, be responsible, follow appropriate dress codes, be punctual, respect confidentiality of information, ask informations, return borrowed resources promptly and in good condition and show initiative and generally be prepared to learn. Okay. So, kinahanglan, karon nga time ninyo dapat ipakita inyo hang professionalism as PSTs. Kinahanglan, cooperative ta, dilita magsigi og kanang reklamo kung unsa ipabuhat ni City sa ato. Ah. We have to be very responsible sa ginapabuhat sa ato ang assignments and then, respetuo na to ang atong mga City. Okay? Kung natin mangutana, pangutana, pwede ta mangutana and maghata uh, magpakita ta og initiative sa ilaha no okay next use the cooperating school to observe ask questions gather data and generally make sense of the world of teaching since ang atong cooperating school is our own school Davao de Oro State College so mag-observe mo kung unsay mga katikaran sa DDOSC bisan pa man nga pandemic no okay so, number six, you have to meet all the specified requirements. Example, plan ahead for all teaching sessions and share written plans with cooperating teachers for at least the amount of time indicated in the guidelines provided. So, make use of improvised or self-made materials, preferably those prepared in educational technology classes use appropriate strategies to assess record and report student learning complete written evaluations for all teaching employ a range of strategies for engaging a critical reflection compile a relevant and useful professional folio complete the entries of his or her reflection journal so in hanglan kanisha Mamit gyud ni ninyo siya. So, um, since dili man siya elementary ang nature sa inyuhang um, sa so tawag na, inyuhang ujitihan, pero, you have to keep in mind nga, this is the new normal. Mas maayo nga ma-experience ninyo nga ingon ani di ay ang situation sa new normal no same same ra man sila naa lang ta sa college nga level okay so become fully involved in the life of the end of the setting and take on the full role or a teacher including the many non teaching responsibilities and last make classroom based research so mag observe mo ug maayo kung unsa ang ginabuhat sa inyo hang mga city para maka-learn mo no so kung dili mo maning kamot nga maging engaging so dili pud na ma-fulfill ang inyuhang gi unsay tawag ana kining gina aim no nga ma-experience during your practicum okay so na adiri sa ato ang um portfolio makita ni dere so, i-review-review ninyo ni siya from time to time para makahibalo mo sa inyong responsibility as pre-service teachers. Okay, next. Next is, ipakita na ko sa inyo ha. This is the field study to calendar of activities. So, kaning calendar of activities, anchored gihapo ni siya, did to a uh, sa ato ang outline, no? 
So, kung unsa ang naadirian, maupod na siya same dito sa atong outline. So, ako lang ni siyang i-post sa ato ang GC para from time to time, guided mo kung unsa na ang inyuhang i-submit. Since wala po ni siya yung mga specific dates na ria, ako ara po ni siyang butangan og mga specific dates para mas guided mo kung kanus ang magpasa. Okay. Next. Next na kong ipakita will be the um, Action Research Advisors. Okay. So, for B and for B, Mone siya ang mga listahan sa inyong mga advisor. For Abrico, Acosto, Artazo, isa ni sila ka grupo for action research. And ang ilahang advisor will be um, Elan Leonides. And then, for Aziz, Austria, Butron, Samentar, is your advisor. Canton, Chagas, Curay, Mendoza is your advisor. Diez, Doña, and Ecuela. Uh, Auman is your advisor. Fuentes, Girigay, Hingpit. Um, I am your advisor for your AR. Um, ato, Jaka, Ayiktin, Hinubiagon. Uh, isa na sila kagrupo ha. Kana. Coming is your advisor. Jum... Jumauas, Lerio, Linogon, um, Disena is your advisor. Loma, Libarios, and Malibuak, Fajardo is your advisor. Mapigid, Makiling, Maratas, Foro is your advisor. Montero, Padilla, Piodos, Labastida is your advisor. Pundar, Purazo, Racho, Mendoza is your advisor. Soliques, Talip, Viernes, Mendoza is your advisor. So, for B and for B, muna siya ang mga list sa mga advisor. Isa na siya ka-grupo, kani. Na 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3. Tag-isa na siya ka-grupo. Muna inyo hang mga kauban for your action research. Okay, next is percent ako sa inyo ha ang ang inyuhang uh, cooperating teacher. Kinsa ang inyuhang cooperating teacher? Okay. So, na ito? PST assignments. Okay. B at 4B, this is your cooperating teacher. Yan. So, si Abrico, ang cooperating teacher ni Abrico is si Clapano. So, for our Acosto, Artazo, Asis, Austria, Butron, Canton, Chagas, Curay, Diez, Doña. Um, cooperating teacher is Coming. Enicuela, Fuentes, Girigay, Hingpit, uh, Jaka, uh, Hayiktin, uh, Hinubyagon, Juma Jumauas, Lerio. Elan is your cooperating teacher. Linogon, Loma, Libarios, Malibuak, Yufan is your cooperating teacher. Mapigid, Makiling, Maratas, Montero, Padilla, Piodos, Pondar, Purazo, Racho, Mendoza is your cooperating teacher. And Soliques, Talip, Viernes, Samentar is your cooperating teacher. Yan. So, kani siya, i-post po na ko ni siya dito ah, sa inyo hang, ah, sa GC na to, para guided mo kung kinsa ang inyo hang i-approach ng cooperating teacher for your uh, pre-service training. <clears throat> okay. Yan. So, kani advisor and cooperating teacher, ako ni siyang i-post dito. Ayan. Okay, natadiha. Okay. So, dikta dere. Okay. So, to pass the subject, sayon ra kaayo. Submit your modules weekly. Yan ko. Ay na nang submission, late submissions. Okay ra na siya kung ano. Ah, okay. Sige. Three days late submission of module will have a five points deduction per lesson. Okay. So, for example, after three days, dapat ka mag magpasa sa ako ah. 
three days after the deadline, minus points na, na siya per lesson sa imuhang module. Okay? Accomplish or answer all the activities in the module and then submit the final requirement. Unsa man ang final requirement? Ang final requirement na to for FS2, kinahanglan na amoy output for your action research and your portfolio. Na lang. Action research, portfolio, and your module. Okay? So, kato lang, if ever you have questions, since wala gita nakakandak og kinin an online orientation para natay interaction pwede ra mo mag-message ako as um, sa ato ang GC or you can contact me through my uh, corporate email address shireskamsa at cvsc.edu.ph or through my Facebook account shire you just search shire kamsa so thank you so much for listening and don't forget tomorrow afternoon isend na ko sa inyo ha ang link or ang announcement for the um, action research orientation for you students of uh, field study. So thank you so much for listening.